So this is actually the first one that flowered and there's a little e-wig hiding in the plant. I don't know if you can see it went hiding. Hello, Mr. Ewig, where are you? So it just went under. I think they're, oh, it's running, it's running. Can you see the edge there? Oh, the dark thing. Oopsie, there you go. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. There you go. The little pincer. Oopsie. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The little pincers coming out. So, that little guy actually, although it's a pest, that little insect, it actually helps pollinate this um, flower here. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get some of this stuff here. So this is the first one that actually flowered and I've already cross-pollinated it to, its, to itself and then I don't know if I've got some pollen on my finger here but anyway I'm gonna do it here like this. I'm supposed to use a brush but This is now four months later and my epiphylum, hang on, I just have to see on the other side there. I just noticed this because I've completely forgotten about you. And um, I just noticed it the other day. I've got a fruit. I've got a fruit. Look at that. So I don't know if I could harvest it yet. I think I have to wait till they go red before I harvest it. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, I'm going to get to try you and see what you taste like. And yes, I have Googled it up and it says they are edible. So I am game to try it. This is my epiphylum or cactus orchid. A year ago, this flowered. And now a year later, it's flowering again. It is beautiful. So this is the first bloom for this year. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous, huge, look, 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 it's big, 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 big flower. And another one, another flower. And, okay, I'm gonna go over on the other side. Another plant here flowering as well. Look at all, all of them, look, one, two, three, budding up. And is there more? Are you gonna show me more? Okay, that's all I can see so far. Probably there's some more hiding there, but this plant has been given to me a few years ago by my aunt and she said it only flower once but it's the most beautiful flower she said and she doesn't know what it's called. She said it's a cactus orchid. That's all she knows. So I have to go look online and see what cactus orchid is and this shows up. Epiphyllum. The leaves are sort of flat like this. And they have like a really hard stem inside. See, look. And they also have little thorns on the edges. Okay, I don't know if I could find some. But they do grow. See, like this one? So sort of thin. Oh, that one's rooting up. I could actually break that off, cut it, let it dry for a couple of days and stick it in the soil and that will grow. So they're very easy to grow, to propagate with, to have more plants, but it flowers once a year, only for a few days as well. So let's go back to the pretty flower. Now this pretty flower here, after it flowered last year, 
it had a few blooms and I've cross-pollinated it and look there's a little ant inside crawling in trying to cross-pollinate it again it is absolutely beautiful but after I cross-pollinated it I didn't even think about it and when it finished flowering that was November by so this is 2019 November and April 2020 I discovered the fruit and this is still the same fruit and I'm just gonna see now if this is ripe so it's quite soft now I think this triggers that I should really harvest this and we should we're gonna break this off now okay oh look at that oh my goodness it's pink I'm gonna open this up and try this and see what it tastes like or even what it looks like inside so that should be ripe now for harvest because I think in nature that's how <laughs> they go in it oh hang on I just noticed something oh my goodness there's two more in there oh wow <laughs> you can see I've been very busy <laughs> I still got all my <laughs> babies in here that needs to be transplanted but I haven't got the time but anyway so look at that oh but it's gorgeous gorgeous look at you so beautiful now let's go check out this fruit and see what it tastes like so now we're just gonna try this look at that okay I'm just gonna oh look how cute that is small look it's as big as a pigeon's egg or a quail egg maybe a bit bigger than a quail egg in it how about a quail egg size anyway so let's go cut it okay are you ready Oh, it's like a dragon fruit. Okay, I'm going to try it. It's sort of sweet. I actually look it up first to see if it's poisonous and it's not. <laughs> so it's edible. So, okay. It's like one of those dragon fruit, mini dragon fruit. Look at that. Mmm, it tastes like dragon fruit. Mmm. It does taste like dragon fruit, only get a milder taste than the dragon fruit. It's not as sweet. And there you go, so it's got seeds. Mmm, interesting taste. So there you go. How about that? Now I'm just going to have to wait for it to take effect, and then my husband can take me to the hospital. <laughs> Look at all of them. I just noticed them. And... So that one there has already wilted and dried up and this one is still about to bloom but this other two look at that oh they opened up but while I'm here I don't know should I oh there you go so I think the female and the male and I think should I go like this I'm just using my finger pollinate pollinate and let's go to the other side and the other ones as well look okay that one, I want you to grow fruit. I mean, the fruit is not very nice, but <laughs> hang on, this one too. Come here, come here. Sorry. There you go. There you go. So it's like, I think that's the male. Oh, this is the male and that's the female, sorry. That's the female part there and that's the male, something like that. But anyway, I am not an expert when it comes to these things, but there you go. I just do what I'm supposed to do. So that's all mixed up, all the pollens mixed up. There's another one that's about to open. So they actually sort of set fruit fairly quick. And I still got some pollen from the other one. So now I'm just going to go contaminate and contaminate. And then you will pollinate <laughs> and propagate. There you go. That's it. It's all done. This is now a month later since they bloomed. And... I've got two fruit here and I think only one of them, the greener one, is the only one that's going to set fruit. That other one will fall off. But within a month, look how big the fruit is. Look, baby dragon fruit. And on the other side, there's also another one here 
that was pollinated, that's not going to set fruit as well. So that's just going to fall off. And let's go check out the other side. On the other side here, there's one that was pollinated as well, but I don't think it's going to set fruit as well because look at that. So it's all dying and you can still see remnants of the bloom, but that will also fall off. Well, at least I got one fruit this year again.